Use the figure for exercise 11 through 13. <clears throat> All right, number 11 says to write the sine of the angle, of angle M, as a fraction. Now, <clears throat> it's not wanting you to find angle M, it's just wanting you to write that ratio. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So here is your angle M. Opposite is 45 over your hypotenuse, which is 51. Now, <clears throat> So the sine of M is equal to 45 over 51. When you write your ratio, it needs to be written as a simplified fraction. And that you can reduce this to 15 over 17. So the correct answer for number 11 would be 15 over 17. Now, number 12 is asking you for the cosine of K, which is the other acute angle. And we want to write that ratio, but this time we want to we want to put it in decimal form. So, um, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is still that 45 over 51. So when we divide 45 and 51, let me write this out. The cosine of k is 45 over 51, 51, not 57. And the, when you divide that, you get 0 0.882. And I went ahead and rounded it to the nearest thousandth because this decimal here was rounded to the nearest thousandth and it doesn't tell me. But again, <clears throat> we'll tell you what to round to if it doesn't say. On number 13, it says which angle has a tangent of 0.533. So if we look at angle K, tangents opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of K is going to be 24 over 45. And if we look at M, the tangent of M is going to be 45 over 24. Well, this is going to give me a number larger than 1. So it has to be angle K. So K would be the correct answer.